friends today we can discuss about welding inspector interview questions so most of the questions are aramco interview questions heat input formula is voltage into amperage into 60 divided by travel speed travel speed in millimeter per minute portable electrode oven heated to dash degree centigrade minimum that is 65 degree centigrade minimum maximum may be 100 degree centigrade what are the essential variables in WPS P number F number A number base metal thickness post voltage heat treatment these are the basic essential variables for WPS what are the essential variables in PQ they are P number F number A number and post voltage heat treatment P number represents base material F number is weld consumables A number weld metal composition electrode filler wires and flexes shall conform to ASME section which part that is ASME section 2 part C it deals about the consumables for welding define low hydrogen consumables consumables having less than or equal to 8 ml of hydrogen per 100 gram of capacitor weld metal is known as low hydrogen consumable 7018 is a low hydrogen consumable tack welds shall be sufficient size to maintain join alignment the recommended tack thickness is 3.2 to 4.8 m tack welds shall be sufficient size to maintain join alignment the recommended tack length is 12.5 to 25.4 mm how much required ferrite content for arsenic stainless steel materials 3 percentage to 10 percentage ferrite and arsenic is a microstructure arsenic stainless steel have more percentage of arsenic structure minimum calibration for pyrometer should be 6 months for densitometer it may be 3 months minimum holding time for P4 materials during post hold heat treatment should be dash hours if thickness more than 39 that is 2 hours for P4 materials if the thickness is more than 39 minimum preheat temperature for carbon steel materials would be dash as per JE RES hyphen W hyphen 011 this is the Aronco standard so that is 20 degree centigrade for carbon steel post hold heat treatment holding time for 25 mm thickness of P8 material should be dash hours normally P8 material we will not go for post voltage heat treatment because it is a arsenic structure if we do post voltage heat treatment that will last its arsenic structure APA spec 5L stands for dash there is a specification for line pipe If welder welded a joint without JCC card, what is your action as a welding inspector? If he have JCC card and forget to bring that, 
he may given a chance by warning letter otherwise he may be revoked from the project and his belt will cut out and revert how much rt possibly required for p4 materials for p4 material it needs 100 percentage rt category m equal or less than 600 rating coverage of rt on onshore piping is 100 percentage because it is a uh, harmful service so safety purpose it should be 100 percentage pma means that is positive material identification it is used to identify the chemical composition of the parent materials or consume weld consumables difference between mt and pt mt only applicable for ferromagnetic materials and able to detect both surface and subsurface defects pt applicable for both ferromagnetic and non ferromagnetic materials able to detect only surface discontinuities can you allow use using nitrogen as a back purging for ss piping if yes why and if no reason no because nitrogen gas is a reactive gas that will react with the material and form nitrates unless specified otherwise the maximum interpass temperature shall be dash degree centigrade for p1 and p4 materials that is 315 degree centigrade for p1 and p4 materials postural heat treatment required for caustic services yes or no if yes how much percentage and if no why yes that is 100 percentage caustic services also comes under m category service Welder welded a joint without your fit up inspection. What is your reaction as a welding inspector? If visually accepted that weld joint, then it will be radiographed. Based on the RT report, the joint will be accepted or rejected. At the same time, welder should be given warning for not repeating such mistakes in future. How you will do welder identification and marking after complete of the joint? From the information given close by the joint, such as line number, joint number wps number fit up date piping qc sign welder number date of joint welder contractor signature etc all pressure containing welds other than bud welds including branch connections such as weld outlets sock outlets and weld bosses shall be 100 percent examined for what type of material and what type of entity p3 p4 and p5 material shall be 100 percent examined I empty.